I'm a teacher at Bell Avenue School. This is my student, Jenna. Jenna, say hey. Hi. Just like Jenna, we are here to recognize all of your media talent. Let's give everyone a round of applause tonight. All right, I know I'm excited. Jenna, are you excited? Yeah. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Are you guys excited? Yeah. All right, everybody. Then without further ado, we are going to do a countdown starting at 20. So we're all on the same page. Here we go. Get ready to count with me. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 14. Hey, good evening, everybody. I'm Jerry Jones. I'm the chairperson of the Sacramento Educational Cable Consortium Board of Directors. It's my privilege to welcome you all to the 33rd annual award night celebration tonight. We're excited to be back in person after two years of virtual awards. We were live streaming this evening's event on our website and Comcast Channel 16. So we want to say a special hello to everybody out there that's watching from home. And I, first of all, I want to ask if you all enjoyed the last two weeks of celebration. I want to hear it. Did you enjoy it? All right. This year we had 664 entries from 56 schools with 1,800 student producers. That is amazing. Congratulations to everyone who entered. We celebrate you and all of your hard work this evening. Before we begin with the awards, there's a few special people who have made this evening possible. We want to thank our 2022 sponsors, the Sacramento Educational, Sacramento, excuse me, Sacramento Metropolitan Cable uh, Television Commission and Comcast Cable. Without these two groups, the SEVA Lab program and award night celebration would not be possible. So here representing the cable, the commission, thank you. So here representing the Cable Commission is Matt Hedges, who's the chairperson of the commission, Bob Davidson, the executive director of the commission, and Karen Liu. Please stand to be recognized. Now Matt's over here. All right. So also joining us is Philip Arndt, representing Comcast, who's been a longtime supporter of the SEVAs. Philip, will you please stand? And we'd like to recognize him as well. Thank you. We also have members of the SECC board in the crowd this evening. Each of your school districts has a representative on the SECC board of directors that acts as your advocate to ensure that you have the resources you and your fellow students need to share your stories through uh, video. It's my pleasure to introduce you to Scott Jonard from Galt Joint Union High School District. Eugene Graham from Center Joint Unified School District, and Joe Parente from Casas Theater. And Joe's over here working one of our cameras for us. Thank you. We're also honored to have special guest Gene Wilcox, who was one of the founding SECC board members in 1982, and later an SECC employee for over 25 years. Thank you for joining us, Gene. Okay, now if you have your phones with you, we encourage you to use them to share, ex share your experience on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram using hashtag SEVA Awards. Please use our Snapchat filter to make sure that, so make sure you get out your phones and start sharing all evening. Also, make sure that you stay till the very end of the show for a special surprise. Trust me, you're not going to want to miss it. And now for the awards. It's my honor to welcome Matt Hedges, Chairperson of the Sacramento Metropolitan Cable Television Commission, and Luke Galindo of Intercom High School. Come on up. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Um, before I get started, I want to make a quick comment, especially for those sitting up front. You may notice my beard's getting a little splotchy here, and that's because I recently found out uh, that just like Jada Pinkett Smith, I actually have alopecia. Um, I mentioned this to you as a warning, that if you come up here and accept an award and start wanting to make fun of it, that I'm not about pulling a Will Smith and slapping somebody. <laughs> Just kidding. 
So the SEVA competition is the regional opportunity for local students to be recognized for excellence in educational video production. A panel of three or more judges reviewed each entry based on a specific rubric. The judges agreed upon the honorable mentions and SEVA award winners. In order to maintain a standard of excellence, the judges were not required to give it an award in each category. As a result, only the best entries received the title of 2022 SEVA. Each finalist who was announced during last week's celebration will receive an award of merit certificate. These, cert these certificates, as well as the judges' critiques of the evening's entries, evening, sorry, evening's entries, will be available for your teachers to pick up at the back of the room after the evening's event. Should you win an award this evening, please step up to the stage as soon as you hear your name called for an honorable mention or SIVA. Without further delay, the 2022 SIVA Awards. A lot of people don't realize it, but their videos can have a big influence on the audience that watches it. To me, video is a way to like express myself um, and be creative. A good video will make you think about, hey, you know, what, what's the uh, deeper meaning behind this? Whatever you want, you can make with just a camera and imagination. Making a video is just fun. This is my favorite part right here. Man, I've had a crazy, amazing life. Now, we will demonstrate. Say hi to the viewers. Oh, hi, viewers. Advice that I would give fellow student producers that are just starting out, have confidence in yourself. I'd say don't feel discouraged and keep going because in the end, it'll be worth it. In order to produce a good video, I believe that you need to have good organizational skills, good communication skills, and also patience with yourself. Just try your hardest, and even if it doesn't come out good, you still made something. Okay. I'm so good. Yes. I know I literally have only seen you like once, but I know that I love you. What's up, Tigers? I'm J-Rob. And I'm A. Perez. Welcome back to Tiger Talk. Some advice I would give is probably don't stress too much. Take it slow. If you can't do it, that's all right. It is your first time. Don't be shy. Never give up. Try your best. You just have to be confident. You could do anything. Uh, hello again. I guess there are many ways to prevent climate change. Recycle, reduce, and reuse. Video to me is a form of creative expression. You can't make any video, any film you want to. Really do stuff that you like and make sure that you are having fun. Do not care what other people think. Do not care for the negative things that people say. Everything that you do is for you and make sure that when it's for you, it's to your liking. I can do this. Final scene. Welcome to the Sea Buzz. So the first category of the evening is school news, which includes full campus news broadcasts as well as a campus news stories highlighting current and relevant student topics. In the K through three school news category, the finalists are... Fourth grade bubbles, Sunrise Elementary School. 
MM News, episode 62, Mini Mustangs Fall Edition, Florence Mark Hoffer Elementary School. MM News, episode 63, Mini Mustangs Winter Edition, Florence Mark Hoffer Elementary School. The judges awarded an honorable mention as well as a SIVA. The honorable mention is awarded to Fourth Grade Bubbles. <laughs> Producer, Holly Miyazaki of Sunrise Elementary School. Holly, please come up to the stage to receive your award. Holly created this video to highlight fourth graders learning about bubbles in their science class. The video was shared with the entire school. Let's take a look. Bubbles are made of three layers of soap, detergent, and water. It's like a water sandwich with soap as the bread. The wall of the bubble is extremely thin. The class enjoyed the science experiment. Sunrise Elementary School, Spartan TV, Mr. Harding, and my family. I am truly thankful for this experience and opportunity. Thank you for this wonderful award. Congratulations, Holly. The SIVA is awarded to MM News, episode 62. <laughs> Mini Mustangs Fall Edition. Producers, Rex Baird and the Mini Mustang crew of Florence Markerfall Elementary School. Rex, please join us on stage. In this episode of MM News, Rex and the Mini Mustang crew share everything from fall events to how to make a Minecraft crafting table. The students utilize the news show to share out to the students, parents, and staff, and the community just how amazing their school is. Here's a short clip. I heard there are some fun things coming up with PTO. Really? What? Well, let's check it out. We had so, so much, much fun, fun in October. October. Trunk or Treat. Friday Popsicles. Red Ribbon Week. Pumpkin Graham and Be Your, your best, best Self Day. day. Family, my school, Miss Noel, and say thank you for helping and providing the stuff that I used to make this the video. Um, I would like to thank my family. Um, Mark Offer, Miss Noel, the Sivas, and yeah. <laughs> Good job. Great work, Rex, and the Mini Mustang crew. In the four through six school news category, the finalists are. Buddy Bench, Florence Markhofer Elementary School. Capital Air Show, Florence Markhofer Elementary School. Electrical Painted Boxes, Sunrise Elementary School. HCC News, November 8th, Helen Carr Costello Elementary School. HCC News, December 13th, Helen Carr Costello Elementary School. Laguna Creek Bypass, Florence Markhofer Elementary School. 
MM News, episode 59, Florence Mark Hoffer Elementary School. MTV News Special Edition, Student Stories, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. MTV News Winter Newscast, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Otter Outlook 4, Oak Hill Elementary School. Spartan TV, number 50, Sunrise Elementary School. The Anatolia Luminary Walk, Sunrise Elementary School. The Origami Kid, Sunrise Elementary School. The judges awarded an honorable mention as well as a SIVA award. The honorable mention is awarded to MTV News Special Edition, Student Stories. Producer Truman Geyer of Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Truman created this video to help share the story of a third grade class who were building a student store. The class hoped that the video would inspire others to get creative and share. Let's check it out. The students have gotten creative with all aspects of the project. Some have started their own stores and others have started working for other people's stores. They figure out what items to sell, what kind of money to make, and who to hire. They shared with me their favorite part of the experience. My favorite part is that everyone's kind and if we have an argument, we just go and have a meeting. my teacher for helping me through the process, um, the students in the classroom, they were really helpful, and the teacher of the, cl of the class, they were also very helpful. <laughs> so. Thank you, Truman, and the SIVA is awarded to MTV News, Winter Newscast. Producers Del Paso Manor MTV News crews of Del Paso Manor Elementary School. The MTV News crew produces a new show to share information, entertainment, and educate their DPM community about important topics on their school campus. Here's a sneak peek. Speaking of blasts from the past, check out this sixth grade class learning more about history. The sixth grade students in Mr. Rez's class did a beautiful job presenting their Mesopotamia writing projects. Our purpose was to show our students what it was like to write in cuneiform writing. It was hard, it took a lot of tries, but eventually uh, it worked. Let's see how Mr. Rez explains the process of making this project. She helped us make this video every step of the way. And I'd like to thank all of our parents for uh, giving us the money to get the equipment <laughs> and uh, supporting us. And I'd also like to thank the CWIS for giving us this award and hosting this event. Thank you. Congratulations, everybody. The finalists, the finalists for the seven through eight school news category are. Avid students get ready for college, Will Rogers Middle School. Benefits of bilingual education, Arden Middle School. Busted, Bulldog Staff Expose, Winston Churchill Middle School. Circus Disaster, Wilson C. Riles Middle School. COVID and School, Arden Middle School. Eagle Nation News, November 15th, 2021, Albert Einstein Middle School. Eagle Nation News, September 7th, 2021, Albert Einstein Middle School. Episode three, Trick or Treat, Catherine L. Albiani Middle School. First Things First, Toby Johnson Middle School. Mustang Morning News, Will Rogers Middle School. Riles TV, February 4th, Wilson C. Riles Middle School. Sac Republic FC, Will Rogers, Will Rogers Middle School. Um, so the judges awarded both a SIVA and an honorable mention. 
The honorable mention is awarded to episode three, Trick or Treat. The producers of CAMS TV create a weekly newscast that allows students to express their creativity while highlighting school programs and students in a fun and entertaining way. Here is a short preview. Wait a minute. There's something seems different about you. You got a haircut, didn't you? Yes, I did. You know, they probably caught a little bit more than they should have. Yeah. Anyway. There are a lot of tons of exciting events coming up. You better to tell us about them than the witch <laughs> So be the spooky one to know your camp's calendar. Um, we'd like to thank um, all of our crews, uh, the Backyardigans. I think I'm the only one here. Um, the Pirateers and the Joey Jays. We'd also like to thank our teacher. Shout out to Miss McNeil. She's watching from home, sadly, because she couldn't make it tonight. And we'd like to thank um, all of our students who, have, who sit through them and actually watch them. <laughs> TV and great crew to the great job to the sound crew for making it so I can have my voice tomorrow. So appreciate that. Um, and the SIVA is awarded to First Things First. <laughs> the, the cast and crew of TJ TV of Toby Johnson Middle School. The cast and crew of TJTV inform, entertain, and connect with the students and staff of Toby Johnson Middle School. Let's take a look. On October 24th, Northern California experienced an intense bomb cyclone. This is a storm that intensifies very quickly. For the Sacramento region, this caused 24-hour rain that shattered the previous all-day rain record that was set in 1880 with a whopping 5.44 inches of rain. This caused streets to flood and the region's response hotlines were overwhelmed with calls. Many trees fell down and the surrounding creeks were filled with water by the time the storm passed. Thank you to everyone who has supported us this entire year. Our amazing Toby Johnson staff, teachers, specifically Mrs. Edlin and Mrs. LaChapelle. Um, we'd like to thank SECC, all of our families, and of course our wonderful, wonderful crew who put all of this together. Um, without them, none of this would have been possible. It's been a bit of a rough year, but they really persevered, and I'm so proud of our show and what we've done. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, and congratulations again. Uh, in the 9 through 12 school news category, the finalists are... Create it, fire it, paint it, Del Campo High School. Digital media, a high quality pathway, Franklin High School. Elevator closed, Del Campo High School. Fall festival, Franklin High School. Coog Media Productions, Del Campo High School. PGTV January 2022 broadcast, Pleasant Grove High School. Pleasant Grove High Academies, Pleasant Grove High School. Sac Republic FC Fans and Community, Del Campo High School. Staff Shortage in San Juan, Del Campo High School. Tiger Talk with Julian and Imani, Intercom High School. WCTV Morning News, Franklin High School. Winter Homecoming Rally, Franklin High School. The judges awarded an honorable mention as well as a SIVA in this category. The honorable mention is awarded to 
Sac Republic FC Fancy Community. Producers Madeline Garcia and Michelle Hernandez of Del Campo High School. Madeline and Michelle created this video to dive deeper into the values and the purpose of the Sacramento Republic FC's community outreach program. In this video, they spread the message that the Sac Republic FC is not just a soccer team, but a family to its team, fans, and community as a whole. Here's a short clip. We got people from all over the world, and what do people play all over the world? Soccer. Sac Republic brings together fans in the area that have much heart for soccer as a sport by bringing their passions to the stands. Uh, well, to me, see my family, soccer is kind of like a way of life, you know, it's our passion. We love soccer, it's part of our culture. Soccer is a life. You start from uh, age four, you play, rest of your life never stops. suggesting the idea of getting into video in the first place and helping me fall in love with it. We would also like to thank everyone at SECC and everyone here in the audience, just for, and anyone who watched our video and enjoyed it, and also Sac Republic for allowing us and other students to be able to record them playing, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Madeline Michelle. The SIVA is awarded to WCTV Morning News. <laughs> Producers Brian Bates, Tania Brooks, Annie Nguyen, Esne Onkonko, Colin Philkill, Daniel Tong, Isabel Un, Jalen Villarreal, Asha Walia, and Rochelle Williams of Franklin High School. The producers of the show utilize the daily broadcast to inform students of what is happening on their campus and highlight specific events in the community for their student body. Let's check it out. I'd say the best part about this class is definitely the freedom you have. You get to wander around a lot. You get to go outside a lot. You can go anywhere on the school and record and bring your ideas to life. And we also have this really nice and uh, professional editing software called Adobe Premiere and that is very useful as well. So to start off, we'd love to thank Siva. You guys have been with all of us, we are seniors, since we were in middle school. And you've opened up so many doors for us and allowed us to uh, express our passions in such a manner. And we've, we're so thankful to be um, working with you guys for so long, and we're going to miss this, um, being able to submit our videos to SIVA and coming to these award shows as um, people who submitted something in the entries. So thank you so much. You've, uh, you've allowed us ex to experience so much within these six years at SIVA. Yeah, um, and thank you to uh, Ms. Williams, our um, wonderful uh, WCTV teacher. Um, she is just our biggest cheerleader. She's always... Um, looking out for us and encouraging us in our videos um, and just providing the most um, safe and positive um, atmosphere in the classroom that just really allows us to be as creative as possible with our videos. I just want to say thank you to all of our crew that's not here today who's watching right now. We work so hard and it's just an honor to be receiving this award. So thank you for everyone here and who has helped us become where we are now. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, everyone, and great job. And now, please welcome Mr. Scott Lair, Superintendent of the Center Joint Unified School District, here this evening to recognize a special group of students who received the Defining 2021 Award this year. Uh, good evening, and thank you, Matt. It's so nice to be here tonight to celebrate not only the wonderful efforts of our students, but also the efforts of our innovative and dedicated teachers. We thank you for all that you do to help us in this process. 
I also think it's important we recognize our friends at the SECC for their continued dedication and partnership to the work for, with our schools. They are great at staying behind the scenes and making the rest of us look good. But without them, our students would not have the same experience or opportunity. So we thank you, SECC team. We appreciate all that you do. So two weeks ago, a special awards recognizing students who intentionally included those closest to them in their video production process were presented during a, a week-long celebration. Those students clearly shared their passion for video production with those who are most important to them. We invite all of the defining 2021 award winners, please come up on the stage right now. The students receiving this year's defining 2021 awards have truly shared their passion for video with those most important to them. And now the moment you all have been waiting for. Is there anything that you'd like to share with us about your video? I would just like to say thank you for this opportunity. I hope that other kids my age can see the video and are inspired to create some more videos. Learning some things about my dad and my own grandparents that I did not know that he got out of them through his documentary it was just a cool way to bond. The main purpose of the video was really just to uh, highlight, you know, my mom's career and you know the way that she's inspired me. I hope you can see how much my family means to me and how we support each other. Family can actually impact everybody. I couldn't be more proud of her today. Her mom and I are just so proud of her. This SEMA project was one of the favorite things one of my favorite things I've done this year. And uh, once again, want to offer congratulations to the award winners. Your work is so impressive. It's just a time and a story that, that we can all treasure. Good job, everybody. So everyone smile. I'm not sure where the photo is coming from, but smile. Um, congratulations for you for all your hard work. Uh, it's truly inspiring. Your plaques will be available at the end at the, uh, the back, I believe, left-hand corner. Also, there's a, a place where we can have you sign a frame. So we really appreciate this. Um, thank you. You may return to your seat. It's my pleasure to welcome to the stage to present the awards for the documentary category, David Lowe, President and General Manager of KVIE, and Yasmin Mayberry from Del Campo High School. Uh, I'm just so excited to be here and see all these amazing faces. Can you even see faces? Just Pretty a little dark. bit. Okay. <laughs> well, it's great to be here and presenting awards in the documentary category. At our PBS station, KVIE, we like to say that we're the home for documentaries, but right now, you're about to see more documentaries than even we can present on any given night. The documentary category includes videos of any length that give us an in-depth educational look at topics such as classroom curriculum, people and current events, or history. All right, there was one video submitted in the K through three documentary category, and the judges, they awarded it with a SEBA. So the SEBA is awarded to Z Strong, producer Josiah Zamora of Florence Markupper Elementary School. Josiah shares the importance of physical, mental, and family strength in his video. He hopes this video inspires everyone with family strength with which you can get through anything in life. Let's take a look. My papa has always loved fitness. He started working at the gym when he was 18 years old. He has worked in the fitness industry for 40 years now. I just love working people out, having people reach their goals, you know, make them feel better about themselves. to 
thank um, my family and my media teacher, Mrs. Knoll, and my school. Um, anyone who watches this video, I'm just um, so happy I won this award. I'd like to thank the SIVAs too. Congratulations, Josiah. And the finalists in the four through six documentary category are A Day in the Life of a Sea Effer, Sunrise Elementary School, American River Pollution, Del Paso Manor Elementary School, Equity in San Juan Unified School District, Del Paso Manor Elementary School, Into the Deep, Del Paso Manor Elementary School, Lake Natoma Bald Eagles, Sunrise Elementary School. One of a Kind, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Save the Orcas, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Shop Local, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Single Use Plastics, The Massive Dilemma, Creative Connections Arts Academy. Skateboarding is for Everybody, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. The Importance of Training Your Dog, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Video Game Addiction in Children, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Okay, in the four through six documentary category, the judges awarded an honorable mention as well as a SIVA. And the honorable mention is awarded to Save the Orcas by Sabrina Hill and Matreya Ray of Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Sabrina and Matreya created this video about orcas and how everyone can do their part to help these kind of creatures who are often mistreated. Here's a short preview. Some of them uh, concentrate on seals. Some of them eat, um, like around here, they may go after otters, they go after squid, um, they go after like elephant seals. Um, they've even seen them go after sharks in some video recently. Orcas also can eat salmon, seagulls, shrimp, lobsters, and many more. The orcas trap seagulls by spitting fish onto the surface of the water as something to lure the birds. Smart! I would like to thank the SECC for this award, and I would also like to thank my media teacher, Mrs. Darrow, for teaching me everything that I needed to know, as well as our parents, who drove us to wherever we needed so that we could get up our shots. And we hope that one day, orcas as well as other animals will be able to live in a healthier and safer, less polluted environment. Oh, just what great work, Sabrina and Matria. The SIVA is awarded to A Day in the Life of a Sea Effa, Ethan Dean of Sunrise Elementary School. Ethan used his video to show everyone what it is like to have cystic fibrosis on a daily basis. Let's take a look. When I'm sick, even if it's a runny nose, I have to do four treatments a day, sometimes five. S sometimes when I'm sick, I end up in the hospital for 10 to 14 days on average. My longest stay was 18 days right before COVID. When I'm at the hospital, I'm hooked to an IV, which I hate. This gives me antibiotics to help fight the virus. Hi my, hi, my name is Ethan Dean, and I have cystic fibrosis. I would like to thank the following people and organizations. SECC for hosting this event, Sunrise Elementary School for an opportunity to learn, Mr. Harding, my instructor, for teaching me everything I need to know about recording and video editing, my mom for taking and picking me up, my dad for supporting me, my fellow Spartan TV crew, Dr. Go and Brian, my respiratory therapist, for taking time, the time to interview. The reason why I created this video is because I wanted you to understand 
what it's like to have cystic fibrosis. Making this documentary was quite the challenge. It was sometimes difficult to edit the video and make everything fit the way I envisioned. My favorite part of the documentary was when it showed the CF block pictures, including some of the Star Wars characters. It reminds me of all of the support I received from friends and family. Thank you for the recognition, and let's make CF stand for Kier Found. I mean, he can stand up here all night if he wants. <laughs> you gonna help us out, or? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Works for me. Congratulations, Ethan. I need all the help I can get. In the seven through eight documentary category, the finalists are. Celebrating an Indian wedding, hair in school, fracking, Leading Edge Natomas Charter School, Future Quest, The Future of Youth Pre-Engineering, Catherine L. Alviani Middle School, Global Warming, A Worldwide Issue, Catherine L. Alviani Middle School, Jay's Detailing, Heron School, Living Through COVID, Winston Churchill Middle School, Mahoney Fishing History, Heron School, Michelle Campbell, Cam's Theater Teacher, Catherine L. Alviani Middle School, Mother Hips, What You Need to Know, Andrew Carnegie Middle School, Shashari Kubari, Art Inspirations Heron School, Southern Silence, Southern Middle School, The Importance of Family, Heron School. And the judges have on, uh, provided an honorable mention as well as a SIVA. So, honorable mention goes to Celebrating an Indian Wedding. Producer Harleen Byring of Heron School. Harleen uses a wide selection of B-roll, voiceover, and interview footage to teach the audience more about the Indian culture and how weddings are celebrated. Here's a short clip. The Jago is the day before the wedding when everyone gets together to eat, dance, and have fun. People walk around with a Jago, which is a decorated pot with candles on it. The meaning of Jago is wake up because historically people would walk around their neighborhoods to tell people about the upcoming wedding. I'd like to thank Heron School and my teacher, Mr. King, and also my family for this opportunity and support. Congratulations, Harleen. And the SIVA is awarded to Sutter Silence. Producers, Joy McDaniel and Sofia Graciano of Sutter Middle School. Joy and Sofia created the SIVA to encourage viewers to make an effort to understand and accept the differences and struggles of those around them. Let's check it out. Mr. Heckey and the media production class at Sutter for um, helping us learn all we needed to know to make this video, um, as well as Ms. Vakari and the Deaf and Hard of Hearing class at our school. So. And then I'd also like to thank anybody who watched our video, and I hope that it educated many people on the DHH community, and I'd just like to thank um, the SIVA um, for having us here today. Thank you. Congratulations, great work, Joy and Sophia. Thank you for sharing. And now, the finalists in the nine through 12 category are. Augmented Tech Communication Devices, Galt High School. Benefits of a Video Production Program, Galt High School. Bob's Business, Del Campo High School. 
breath, Rio Americano High School, free food policy, good or bad, Franklin High School, my woman, Intercom High School, PG Wrestling Doc, Pleasant Grove High School, Project Pronouns, Casa Roble Fundamental High School, Same One Students Return, Del Campo High School, The Close of Trend Documentary 2021, Galt High School, The Future of Generation Z, Franklin High School, The Story of Sue, Del Campo High School. The judges awarded both a SIVA and an honorable mention for the 9 through 12 documentary category. The honorable mention goes to The Story of Sue, Stephanie Bear, Haley Bear, and Amir Gaby of Del Campo High School. These producers share that you should always be there for somebody every step of the way, no matter what situation, through their overall message that cancer can affect anybody of any age and their families. Here's a sneak peek. Surgery on November 19th. 38 straight days of radiation therapy. And then more chemo medications. My routine daily changed, but it gave me an opportunity to check on her in the morning and then, you know, I'd give her a call during lunchtime to check on her, make sure everything was good. Are you sure? <laughs> Haley and Stephanie couldn't be here tonight, uh, or not that they couldn't be here, but they're actually celebrating uh, at home tonight with their grandmother watching it uh, on streaming. So um, this was a, a heartfelt project um, uh, about their grandmother. And so uh, shout out to Stephanie and Haley that are um, enjoying this at home. Also, Amir uh, was a partner in the project as well and couldn't be here tonight. So uh, I accept this uh, in their, on their behalf. And uh, Stephanie and Haley and Amir uh, stop by my classroom tomorrow and uh, we'll celebrate. Thank you, everyone, and congratulations. And the SIVA is awarded to Brett. I'm Kayser Wynn of Rio Americano High School. Kayser created this video to expose everyone to the benefits of controlled breathing and everything it has to offer, from physiological to psychological benefits. The valuable skill is free, portable, and can be practiced by all. Here's a short preview. But in our busy lives, we have forgotten how to take the true deep breath. Learning the art of breathing has helped millions of people find inner peace in their busy schedules and hectic worlds. Let's explore where breathwork came from and how it can enhance our lives today. I want to start off by giving a huge thank you to the SCCC for putting on such an amazing event. As a high schooler, this has been such an amazing opportunity to express my thoughts through a totally different medium. I also have to thank Mrs. Darrow for starting out my adventure, and a huge thank you to my sister. I could have not done this without your amazing acting, Naya. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Oh, it was amazing doing this, right? You made it. <laughs> I know I did, right? <laughs> well, that is a wrap on the documentary category. Maybe someday we'll see these filmmakers on PBS. It's now my pleasure to introduce you to Mr. Ron Raymer, principal at our, our, let me try it again, Robert L. McCaffrey Middle School and Emily Ann Sheldon of Galt High School, here to recognize our amazing teachers. Thank you, everybody. What a pleasure to be here tonight. What an awesome event, and what a beautiful and uh, honor to talk about teachers here. The SIVA teacher community is a unique group of people who became teachers to make a difference in the lives of students they teach and the community around them. This group of individuals work hard each day to motivate and engage students like me. 
Tonight, we celebrate this key group of teachers who help support students through two of the most challenging years we have ever seen. Over the last few years, this group has worked tirelessly to ensure that students felt supported and engaged while not being able to be together in person. We thank you all for your hard work and dedication to these students. You all endured and faced the many challenges with a positive attitude. There are no words to express our gratitude for all that you have done, so we hope you'll settle for thank you. SIVA teachers, if you could please join us up here on the stage um, for an opportunity to take a group photo, you can come up either side of the stage. And while you do so, we have a few words from your students. Come on up. My media teacher's name is William Moe. Eric Knight. It's Rebecca Batsianis. Uh, her name is Tammy Knoll. Mr. Clark. Donna McNeil. My media teacher is Miss May, and she has taught me how to go outside my comfort zone. I like that he's very organized. Miss McNeil has helped us during this time by giving us lots of support in whatever we need and giving us a ton of help. I really like my media teacher. He always encourages me to make quality videos and to always try my hardest. They've helped me learn how to just be better at making videos and doing what I love. She pushed me through when I didn't think I could go farther. He encourages all of us to get out of our comfort zone and as he says, step up to the mic. Mr. Weitzel has been a key role in everything that we do. Honestly, his humor really helps us throughout all of this chaos. Yeah. He's great. He's, 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 he's really nice. He's big and he has gorgeous hair. And he is a very fun, happy person and he has wonderful hair. We don't have a huge class, but it gets busy <laughs> and she can handle that really well helping me believe in myself and helping me trust my own judgment. What I like most about my media teacher is that she's always there for us in our classroom. I know I'm not as important, but I just got to say thank you from everybody. You guys are incredible. Thanks for all you do for the kids and the community. Thank you, everybody. And now to present the 2022 awards for the creative expression category, please welcome Christy Gong of KCRA and Yusuf Elsama. <laughs> of Toby Johnson Middle School. Hi, and thank you for uh, coming out here, and I just want to say congratulations to all of the nominees tonight. And thanks so much for having me out. It's so great to be back here in person and to be sharing all these incredible stories with you tonight. The creative expression category includes productions such as fictional content, book trailers, original music videos, or any program that has an educational message but doesn't fit into the other four categories. There were two videos submitted in the K through three creative expression category. The judges awarded an honorable mention as well as a SIVA. And the honorable mention goes to, don't litter, it's easy. Producer, Charles Terry of Florence Marco Fur yeah. Elementary School. Charles hopes his video teaches students at his school to stop littering. Let's take a look. It's easy not to litter when there's so many garbage cans around your park.
Charles had a family commitment tonight and could not make it, but he is watching us live. So I want to say good job, Charles. This is his first year with the SIVAs with uh, me and my after school program, and he did such a great job. So thank you, SACC, for, the, for this um, award for him. Okay, thank you. And this 2022 SIVA is Kinder Signs producer Tristan Bazinal of James McKee Elementary School. <laughs> Tristan wanted to show everyone that communicating with everyone is important. Here is a short preview. Tristan, thank you for sharing. Our next category of the evening is fourth through sixth creative expression. And the finalists are Baking with Madeline and Paige, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Basketball tryouts, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Bush Monster, Sunrise Elementary School. Coloma Trip, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Cruising during COVID, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Garbage cans, Sunrise Elementary School. Highlighting RBG, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Homemade Pop-Tarts, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Listen Up, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Micronations, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. What Kids Do When Parents Are Not At Home, Sunrise Elementary School. You Can Do It, Joseph Sims Elementary School. The judges decided to award both an honorable mention and a SIVA in this category. The honorable mention is awarded to Micronations, producers Nicholas Chen and Noah Sai of Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Nicholas and Noah said, we find Micronations to be very interesting. We wanted to share some knowledge with others about the idea of Micronations. Here's a short clip. Some of the most famous micronations are Sealand, located off the coast of the UK, Ladonia, located on the Swedish coastline. There is also Saborga, which is a city located in Western Italy. My media teacher, Miss Darrow, for, make, for helping me create this video after a rough start. I also want to thank my family, who really helped me out and encouraged me to keep going. Um, I also really enjoyed the help of my partner, Nikolai, who is not here today. Thank you. Thank you, Nicholas and Noah. And the SIVA goes to Garbage Cans. Yeah! Producer Emma Br Bruns of Sunrise Elementary School. Emma created this video to teach the importance of throwing away your trash at lunch. This fun video is a reminder for students at Sunrise Elementary School to use garbage cans for their trash. Let's check it out. 
What's going on over there? I don't know, but they're really messy. teacher and Mr. Harding and Sunrise Elementary School um, for the SIVA. So thank you. Thank you so much for this award. Shout out to our Sunrise Elementary Sparks and TV backstage crew, our filmer Stella, our actors, and Mr. Harding. Special thanks to my parents and SECC. Congratulations, Emma. In the 7 through 8 Creative Expression category, the finalists are... A Day in My Life as a Cat, Albert Einstein Middle School. Being Yourself in Sports, Joseph Kerr Middle School. Book Trailer, The Phantom Tollbooth, Will Rogers Middle School. Deadline, Wilson C. Riles Middle School. Elite Eats, Sutter Middle School. My Name is Not My Name. Winston Churchill Middle School. Paranoia, Winston Churchill Middle School. The Downfall of Humanity, John Barrett Middle School. The John Barrett Rap, John Barrett Middle School. The Road Not Taken, Albert Einstein Middle School. Whenever I Try to Draw, Short Parody, California Middle School. Where Is It, Catherine L. Albiani Middle School. Who Was It, Catherine L. Albiani Middle School. Honorable mention to Andy Siva, awarded by the judges. The honorable mention goes to Whenever I Try to Draw, a short parody. Producer, Rosa Maria Orozco of California Middle School. Rosa's target audience is people who are just looking for a quick laugh at something they might be familiar with, and our judges did just that. Here's a sneak peek. Now for the main color, I'll be using blue, color of those petals, these ones, those, and these. Almost done, we'll be coloring the center brown. All right, it looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to quickly sign it. And done. Wasn't that easy. And I bet yours looks really well at home too. Yes, Rosa is unable to be here tonight, so we will accept this award on her behalf. Okay, and the SIVA is now awarded to My Name Is Not My Name, producer Annabelle Moff Colby of Winston Churchill Middle School. The producer shared an important education, educational message the, that names do truly matter and to show compassion when someone needs it. A name can sometimes not be as simple as you may think. Here is a short preview. I am now. I'm my name, not my name. People don't get it. So what is it? That makes no sense. It's all about you. So what do I say? The confusing truth or a lie they might like, but damages me. But they don't know. All they've ever known is their name. But for each time my name is called, I want to scream, but I hold it back waiting till I can finally be me. I guess Annabelle is also unable to be here tonight, so we will also accept this SIVA on her behalf. Congratulations, Annabelle. Congratulations again, Annabelle. The finalists for the 9 through 12 creative expression categories are Block, Pleasant Grove High School, Fashion Del Campo, Del Campo High School. How are you getting home tonight? Pleasant Grove High School. It's Not Worth It, Rio Linda High School. Light After Dark, Pleasant Grove High School. New Horizons, 
Pleasant Grove High School. Purpose, Franklin High School. Romantic, Pleasant Grove High School. Romeo and Juliet Abridged, Pleasant Grove High School. Setting Boundaries, Pleasant Grove High School. The Lie I Got Away With, Intercom High School. Ways to Show Kindness, Del Campo High School. An honorable mention and a SIVA were given. The honorable mention is awarded to New Horizons, producer Jacqueline Mankey of Pleasant Grove High School. Jacqueline created this video to teach others of the humanity and earnest, genuine nature of immigration to a new country. Jacqueline used the story of her grandmother to do this. Let's take a look. I was born in Bangkok, Thailand, mm -hmm. yeah, and it was kind of something different and new for me because uh, I don't, uh, first time I see washer and dryer, <laughs> and it was just kind of shocking because uh, we we didn't have any fancy stuff like we have here in America. Thank you. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my friends and family, obviously my grandmother for uh, being in the video. Um, I'd like to say thank you to my video production class at Pleasant Grove High School and a huge shout out to Mr. Bandy who is one of the best teachers I've ever had. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for sharing, Jacqueline. And the SIVA goes to Setting Boundaries, producers Megan Chun, Al Aloisa Singzon, and Mary Catherine Tran of Pleasant Grove High School. The producers aim to bring awareness to the struggles people face when pressured to help others. They hope to teach the audience how to stand up for themselves and set personal boundaries in order to preserve their mental health. Here's a short clip. Uh, hello, we'd like to say <laughs> uh, thank you so much for this award and we'd like to give a special shout out to Mr. Bandy who helped us throughout this entire uh, project. Thank you so much. Also, shout out to Mary Catherine Tran who helped us with this production. Um, unfortunately, she was not able to come here today, but again, we appreciate her help so much. Catherine! <laughs> Congratulations, everyone, and great job. Thank you again for having us. And again, congratulations to all the nominees in this, and, and winners in this category. It is my privilege to welcome to the stage Jeff Darrow, recipient of the 2021 Alan Hinderstein Award. Good evening. Over 33 years ago, an incredible Sac State professor, Alan Hinderstein, had a vision that recognized the importance and value of media production. For teachers, his idea was to enhance the classroom learning experience of students we honor Alan's memory every year. As we recognize a teacher who embodies the concept of being creative in the classroom and is always looking for new ways to introduce media into his students' learning. Don Williams of Franklin High School, Don Williams is this year's recipient of the Alan Hinderstein Award. Mrs. Williams fills many roles other than just a teacher. She is a mentor, a colleague, a guardian, and so much more to her community. Ms. Williams began her career behind the scenes at News 10 and uses that experience to help her students learn about video production, especially in a new setting. 
During her two daily broadcast classes, she teaches students to find the heart of the story and to ensure her students and to ensure the voice is heard. Mrs. Williams rarely says no and is known for doing everything she can to support her campus and community, making sure all important stories are covered and shared. Mrs. Williams is an advocate for her and her students and the classroom beyond. She has a reputation of supporting her students and being in, the, in their corner when no one else will. When asked about the teacher, a majority of her students commented on how they rely on Mrs. Williams, not only for her help with video, but for life advice as well. She creates lasting relationships with her students that go beyond the four years at Franklin. Mrs. Williams not only supports her students at school and her community, but she also is a member for many fellow SEVA teachers and helps anyone in need. During SEVA events, you can find Mrs. Williams with her students from many different schools around her waiting for advice and tips on how to best capture their story. She has built a partnership with the other digital media teachers on her campus by creating a dynamic program for all of her students. She also helps create a pathway for students coming from the neighborhood of middle school, allowing students to have the unique advantage of continuing newsroom experience from a young age. During difficult times, Mrs. Williams faces challenges with kindness and compassion for others. She is known for her ability to bring strangers together, whether students or adults. There is something, there is something about her nature that we draws you in and makes you feel welcome. Here is a video about what her community would like to share about Mrs. Williams. Ready? Okay, three, two, one, go. Hey, 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 Wildcats. Today is Thursday, April 7th. I'm my media teacher is Don Williams, Mrs. Williams. And in my mind, she has like little angel wings. She's an angel. She's the whole mastermind behind Wildcat TV. I love that she's just always got something going on. It seems like, you know, you turn around to ask her a question and she's already gone off and started to do something else. Always doing as much as she possibly can. She really tries to get to know everyone and like their sides and connects with them on more of a deeper level. She's not just a teacher. You see her, her real true side and it's just amazing. And she is not here for us just only as a teacher, but she is also here for us as a mom and as a motherly figure. If we need help with anything, she's here for us. So she might give you a visual cue, okay? And the same with you guys over here, okay? Just speak up a tiny bit more, okay? Just, just ever so slightly, okay? Dawn is an incredible gift to education in terms of broadcast and media education. She makes herself available to kids. She reaches out. She makes connections. And she's totally someone who enables students and allows them to find opportunities to really be in a niche for themselves. She loves to like support students whether she's close with them or not and I think that's really unique to have a teacher that cares so much about students no matter how well she knows you. She just wants to see everyone succeed and everyone just have a good time in a class like this and learn and grow. You guys did a great job. Thank you. You did a great job. Good, good voice, good tone. Thanks. She's been a teacher literally who has immersed herself in the culture of this campus since day one. Her impact on campus is not just relegated to the small group of students, it is felt throughout campus. And Wildcat TV is so impactful because it gives people voices to speak on certain things that they may not be familiar with. The pressure that I can imagine she has on her to come into school every day and produce and manage the, the show is just, it's just incredible. Roll it! Cute. Okay. Yay, good show everybody, good show. Good show. It is with my great pleasure and honor to award the 2022 Alan Henderson Award to Don Williams. Wow, I am very surprised when you made this media teacher speechless, which is pretty hard to do. <laughs> but I'd like to really thank all the other educators in this room. Without your support these last two years, this would not be possible. And thank you to my students and my crew every day to make this look easy for me. And I'd like to also thank the folks at SECC and all the work they have done to make this possible, both for my school at Franklin, but also all of our communities. So thank you so very much. I am honored to receive this award tonight, and I'm just 
just speechless. Thank you very much. All right, let's get back to the awards here. Here with us tonight to present the awards in the instructional category is previous Alan Henderson Award winner, Dana LaChapelle, and student Johnny Pacheco Herrera of Bell Avenue Elementary School. Let's give him a hand. I'd like to thank my family for bringing me here and, and my teachers and everyone who's in the audience for helping me through hard times and being here just seeing me up on the podium and saying thank you to me. Well done, Johnny. I'm thankful too. Um, I retired mid-year this year and uh, did not expect to be here and I'm so excited to be here uh, again. Uh, at the SEBA Awards. I'm really super excited about that. The instructional category recognizes programs that teach about a student, uh, sorry, I said that wrong, that teach about a subject or skill or give how-to advice related to an educational topic. The finalists in the K-3 instructional category are... How to braid Florence Mark Offer Elementary School. How to make boba Del Dale Elementary School. How to make hot chocolate Sunrise Elementary School. How to paint your pumpkin Sunrise Elementary School. How to use a 3D printer Sunrise Elementary School. Magic tricks Sunrise Elementary School. Mummy cookies with Kaylee. Florence Mark Offer Elementary School. The three R's with Harper and Nicole. Recycle, reduce, and reuse. Florence, Florence Mark Offer Elementary School. All right, the judges awarded both an honorable mention and a SEMA in this category. The honorable mention goes to Magic Tricks. Three magic tricks that are simple and easy to learn in this instructional video. Sam encourages students to share their magic tricks with their families to have fun. Let's check it out. So the way I made it rip apart and then turn into a perfectly good one is that actually I ripped this, the sticky note, apart, turn it actual ball. But when I put it in my palm and blow it like this, I had a decoy under it. So I grabbed the perfectly good one and pretended that this was the ripped one. Thank you, Sam. What a great video. And the SIVA is awarded to How to Use a 3D Printer. Producer Ethan Lane at Sunrise Elementary School. Ethan teaches viewers about 3D printing and how to make many fun items utilizing a 3D printer. Here's a sneak peek. Save the commands to a memory card and load it into the 3D printer. Now I'm going to put in the memory card and start the print.
Congratulations, Ethan. In the fourth through sixth constructional category, the finalists are... Delicious Donuts, Florence, Mark Offer Elementary School. Detroit Style Pizza, Florence, Mark Offer Elementary School. Gordita's Tutorial, C.W. Dillard Elementary School. How to Comfort Someone, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. How to Do a Magic Card Trick, James McKee Elementary School. How to Grow Taller, Sunrise Elementary School. How to make banana bread, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. How to pack a healthy lunch, Sunrise Elementary School. How to play golf, John Barrett Middle School. How to raise baby chicks, Sunrise Elementary School. How to take a wide, medium, and tight shot, John Barrett Middle School. Value your visions, Florence Markoffer Elementary School. Sunny Side Up. Heron School. The judges selected both an honorable mention and a SIVA in this category. The honorable mention is awarded to How to Comfort Someone, producer Jason Wang of Del Paso Manor El Elementary School. Jason shared, I believe it's important that the students are aware of how to comfort classmates and friends. They need to know the signs of when somebody is sad or, and ways to support them. Here is a short preview. Mrs. Scala also shared some next steps to support your classmate. They have a, a very calm voice. And I also think nodding. So nodding your head and really um, acknowledging what is being said. Sorry, I'm not in my best clothes, but uh, I would like to thank uh, my media teacher, Ms. Darrow. She's right there, I can see her. Hi. And um, uh, uh, I would like to thank uh, ROBC to make this chance come true. And I would like to thank ROBC for the funding. And I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Uh, I would also like to uh, thank all the people who uh, helped me in, in my video. Uh, thank you to my parents who supported me in the making of the video. Thank you, Jason. And the SIVA goes to How to Raise Baby Chicks. <laughs> Producer Everly Bennett of Sunrise Elementary School. Ever, Everly wants to help out anyone who's thinking about raising baby chickens with these tips. Everly understands it takes a lot of time, effort, it takes a lot of time and effort supply, and supplies to raise baby, baby healthy, healthy baby chicks and other, and hope others will understand this too after watching this video. Then you'll need some bedding, which is she makes. Then you'll need some food. And there's also this type of thing called chicken boots. It has vitamins and minerals in it. And you'll also have to refill their water every day. And last but not least, you'll need their heat lamp. And you'll have to keep it on all day. for this award. I would like to thank my family, mostly my mom, because she supports my videos and pushed me to do media. And I would like to thank my best friend who wish she could be here to see me do my, see, who see, oh. got this. here to see me receive my award. Last but not least, I would like to thank my media teacher, Mr. Harding, for getting me here with all of his hard work and encouraging us to be creative with our videos. I, like, I would like to thank, SECC for supporting kids in the media program and giving us an opportunity. Thank you. Congratulations, Everly, and thank you for sharing. The finalists in the 7 8 instructional category are How to Fold a Masu Box, 
Lewis Pasture Middle School. How to make a fishtail rainbow loom bracelet, Robert L. McCaffrey Middle School. How to make a how-to video, Folsom Middle School. How to make a safe and positive school environment, Andrew Carnegie Middle School. How to make s'more surprise sandwich, Robert L. McCaffrey Middle School. How to make stickers, Sutter Middle School. How to paint bubbles, Will Rogers Middle School. How to play basketball, John Barrett Middle School. How to play spoons, Will Rogers Middle School. How to study for a test effectively, Arden Middle School. How to use the library, Arden Middle School. Signs your plants might be overwatered, John Barrett Middle School. An honorable mention and a SIVA were given. The honorable mention is awarded to How to Make Stickers. <laughs> Producer Lucia Fernanda C. Garcia of Sutter Middle School. Lucia created this video about creating stickers so that anyone who is interested can learn. Here's a short clip. Take your parchment paper and stick on a piece of tape, sticky side down. Next, make a small-ish drawing. Cut it out. Make sure to leave a little space on the border. You can also print out a picture of your choice from the internet. Place your drawing on the tape-covered parchment paper and place another piece of tape on top. speech, but um, I want to thank um, my media production um, classmates because they're literally so amazing and I, they're, they're so awesome. So, they're so supportive and amazing. And I would also like to thank my media production teacher, Mr. Hecky. You're super cool. Um, yeah. And um, from this video, I kind of, I learned that you can really make a, a video out of anything if you really think about it. And um, you can film anywhere because I literally I filmed that on my kitchen table, and it was it was so stressful because I didn't know how to get the angles right. But um, <laughs> thank you so much for giving me this award. You guys are so cool. Thank you. Have a great day. <laughs> thank you, Lucia, and congratulations. The Siva goes to. How to Play Basketball. Producers Parker Nordahl and Colin Orn of John Barrett Middle School. Parker and Colin work together to teach beginning basketball players the rules of basketball and how it is played. This is the perfect video to teach you how the game is played and the basic rules. Check it out. You just need to bounce the ball up and down with your finger pads, but you don't want to slam the ball down. Next, let's move on to shooting. Shooting is also pretty easy. First, you need to get your balance. Next, you need to bend your knees. You want to make sure you see your target clearly. Your elbow should be facing your target. Finally, you need to follow through and put your hand in the cookie jar. Parker couldn't be here, but I want to accept this on his behalf. And uh, I just want to thank SCCC and Colin, and congratulations again. In the 9 through 12 instructional category, the finalists are A Beginner's Guide to Cross Stitching, Intercom High School, Caring for Grandparents, Franklin High School, Cereal Slime, Wit, Elise, and Sama, Intercom High School, Cleaning Minerals, Four Methods, Center High School. How to make ceviche, Del Campo High School. How to play Magic the Gathering, Pleasant Grove High School. How to prep and organize for working at home and online school, Franklin High School. How to put a halter on a horse, Intercom High School. How to ride a unicycle, Rosemont High School. How to shade, Pleasant Grove High School. How to stop motion, Del Campo High School. 
Nuka Blast, Pleasant Grove High School. The judges decided on an honorable mention as well as a CEVO award. The honorable mention goes to a, be a Beginner's Guide to Cross-Stitching, producer Emily Zedek of Intercom High School. Now we are ready to cross stitch. First, pick a line to start with and widen the first left bottom hole of the line with your needle. Don't poke your needle all the way through. Second, flip over your hoop and feed your needle a majority of the thread through the hole you widened in the previous step. Hello, thank you so much. I'm super honored to be recognized for uh, my videos. This is my second year. Um, entering the SEVAs, and again, I'm super proud to be recognized. Uh, first off, I'd like to thank you to um, SECC for, put it, for putting on such a wonderful event for all of us to attend. Um, secondly, I'd like to um, thank my friends and family for just bringing me so much encouragement. And lastly, but certainly not least, I would love to thank Miss May, my media teacher, for being such an inspiration and a mentor to my peers and I. Thank you. Thank you so much. Emily provides easy steps to, be, to teach beginner level crafters how to cross stitch, cross stitch. Emily informs viewers about the positive takeaways from cross stitching while simultaneously teaching them this new skill. Here's a sneak peek. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Emily, and the SIVA is awarded to Caring for Grandparents, producer Ethan Ho of Franklin High School. Huh? Huh? Ethan created this video to encourage people about to regularly spend time with their grandparents and elder adults. Ethan shares small acts of love and care that even little children can do that enrich the lives of the older adults who are often lonely and sad. Here's a short preview. Third, assist the grandparent with personal care. For example, a grandchild's height is good for being a walking stick. We can get shopping carts for grandparents, help them to read fine prints at the store, and hold doors for them. For an immobile grandparent, a grandchild can assist in helping to get on a wheelchair, push the grandparent's wheelchair around the house, and remind him where things are. Uh, I would just like to thank um, my parents and my grandparents and my family for helping me and my teacher. I want to thank God for giving me the opportunity and the skills to make this video. What a great message. Thank you, Ethan. I want to thank everybody that submitted instructional videos personally for improving the overall quality of what we see on YouTube because it's really good video editors that are just making it wonderful. So thank you for all your video efforts and SIVA for life, yeah? Yeah. All right. I'd also like to thank SIVA for improving the YouTube algorithm of showing us videos of how to do stuff that we can't normally do on our own and showing us how to care for other people when we don't know how to do that on our own. All of those things that we don't already know are out there waiting for us to see. Presenting this evening's final category of awards is Kevin Burdett, Director of Community Investment for the Sacramento Republic and Tania Brooks of Franklin High School. Bye. Let's give everybody a round of applause. Um, 
Again, my name is Kevin Burdick. I'm the Director of Community Investment for Sacramento Republic FC, your local soccer team. Uh, we're just excited to be here tonight uh, to continue our partnership with SIVA and help more young people produce media um, across the region. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started with the PSA category. Uh, so the Public Service Announcement, or PSA, is a short promotional video about an educational topic that is up to 30 seconds in length. For the K-3 through PSA category, the finalists are... Adopted Cat Sunrise Elementary School. Always Be Kind Creative Connections Arts Academy. Be Kind Heron School. Don't Judge a Book by Its Cover Creative Connections Arts Academy. Don't Let Your Angry Take Over Florence Mark Offer Elementary School. Don't Litter PSA Florence Mark Offer Elementary School. How to Call 911 Sunrise Elementary School. How to Wash Your Hands Properly Sunrise Elementary School. Keep the environment clean, Sunrise Elementary School. Please use the crosswalk, Sunrise Elementary School. Safe ride to school, Sunrise Elementary School. Stranger danger, Sunrise Elementary School. Wash your hands, Sunrise Elementary School. The judges awarded an honorable mention and a SIVA in this category. The honorable mention goes to how to wash your hands properly, producer Olivia Hack of Sunrise Elementary School. Olivia shared, kids need to know how to wash their hands because it can stop them from getting sick and preventing viruses. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Olivia, and I'm going to be teaching you how to wash your hands properly. First, get your hands wet. Next, get soap. Wash for 20 seconds. If you need to, you can sing the happy birthdays or the ABCs. And that's how you properly wash your hands. You're also gonna look like this guy. 102, I should've washed my hands. I would like to thank SIVA and SECC for this award. And I would also like to thank my parents and my media teacher, Mr. Harding. Thank you. Congratulations, Olivia. And the SIVA is awarded to, please use the crosswalk, producer Lila Cabral of Sunrise Elementary School. Lila hopes to keep everyone at Sunrise Elementary School safe by, by sharing the important message to use the crosswalk every day. Let's watch. The finalists for the 4th through 6th grade PSA category are Don't Forget Your Hygiene, Sunrise Elementary School. Don't Litter, Throw Your Mask Away, Florence Mark Offer Elementary School. Hand Sanitizer, Sunrise Elementary School. How to Slide Down the Side Properly, Sunrise Elementary School. Library Books, Florence Mark Offer Elementary School. Protect Your Passwords, Sunrise Elementary School. Real or Fake Money, PSA, C.W. Dillard Elementary School. Respect the School, Del Paso Manor Elementary School. Skateboarding Safety, Sunrise Elementary School. Stranger Danger Safety, Sunrise Elementary School. The Red Circle, Sunrise Elementary School. Trash Tissue Issue, 
Sunrise Elementary School. The judges decide to only award a SIVA in this category. And the SIVA goes to... The Red Circle, producer yeah. Keaton Terry of Sunrise Elementary School. Keaton wants the fellow students to stay out of the red circle at each door and stay safe. Keaton has seen students who ignore the red painted line and almost get hit by the swinging doors. Here's Keaton's PSA. I'm not stepping in the red circle. You step in it because I'm not stepping in it. Neither am I. What are you guys even talking about? The red circle. Nobody knows our finding. Nobody even knows where it came from, but everybody knows nobody would ever touch it. Hey guys, what, what are you guys talking about? The red circle. Guys, it's just a circle. So and I bet it's used for nothing. See, nothing will. Great job, Keaton. Uh, in the seven through eight PSA category, the finalists are. Beware of internet predators, Samuel Jackman Middle School. Don't trip up, warm up, Toby Johnson Middle School. Exercise PSA, Arden Middle School. Food drive PSA, Arden Middle School. Littering, Samuel Jackman Middle School. Littering PSA, Arden Middle School. Physical Importance, Robert L. McCaffrey Middle School. Save Our Rails, Heron School. School versus Students Mental Health, California Middle School. Smoking PSA, Arden Middle School. Vandalism Hurts Everyone, Samuel Jackman Middle School. Win and Drought, Will Rogers Middle School. The judges gave both an honorable mention as well as a SIVA. The honorable mention is awarded to When in Drought. Producers Anthony Evangelisa, Michael Gomez, Micah Green, and Jordan Halfitch of Will Rogers Middle School. These producers encourage viewers to stop co consuming water at an alarming rate and save water by checking for cracks, use less water in the shower, and using sprinklers less. Let's check it out. <laughs> When we're in a drought, we start to doubt. We need water for the trees, water for the leaves. We gotta save water. Less water from the shower, more water to the tower. Check for leaks, more water for the trees. Use it with the sprinkler, save our water. It's gonna get hot and hot. You know what we need to do? It's save our water. want to say thank you for this awesome award and we wish that uh, our two friends who were obviously in the video and the ones rapping <laughs> you can call it that um, we're here uh, we just want to say thank you for this amazing award and congratulations to everyone who's won so far thank you Congrats again, guys. And the SIVA goes to Don't Trip Up, Warm Up, producer Matthew Ho of Toby Johnson Middle School. Matthew created this video to remind family and friends to warm up before exercising and the possible consequences of not doing so. Here's Matthew's PSA. Warming up before exercising might seem unnecessary, but it really helps. According to the New York Post, up to 45% of people believe that their physical injuries come from skipping their warm-up. 
Warming up helps your body gradually get ready for a workout to prevent injury. Not doing so may cause muscle cramps, torn ligaments, fractures, and more. Don't trip up. Warm up. Um, we can, first of all, we can see that I'm a living example of why you should warm up before exercising. <laughs> and so I would just like to thank um, my family and the, my two teachers, Ms. Edelin and Mrs. LaChapelle. And I'd also like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and for SCCC for um, hosting this event. Thank you. Congratulations, Matthew, and now for our final category of the evening. The finalists in the 9th through 12th grade PSA category are... A Friendly Light Franklin High School. Backed Up Sac Sewers PSA, Franklin High School. Cockroach Trouble, Franklin High School. Defeat COVID-19, Get Vaccinated, Folsom High School. Drought News Network, Folsom High School. How Anxiety Feels, Sheldon High School. Kindness, Rio Americano High School. Oiji Board Climate Change, Rio Linda High School. PSA on Texting and Driving, Visions in Education. Smoking is to Die For, Vista Del Lago High School. The Dangers of Ransomware, PSA, Natomas Charter School. Wash Your Hands, PSA, Del Campo High School. and SIVA were given. The 2022 Honorable Mention is award to PSA on Texting and Driving. Producer Jana Yakim said, a vision of in education. Jana's message is short and to the point. Don't drive distracted, don't text and drive. Let's take a look. The 2022 9th through 12th grade PSA goes to Cockroach Troubles, producer Kyra Cooks of Franklin High School. <laughs> Kyra shares with viewers on how to prevent cockroach infestations and who to call, who you should have infestations. Let's take a look. In warm weather, cockroaches are more likely to infest your neighborhood looking for water sources. To help combat these pesky pests, here are some practical tips. Eliminate potential food, water, and shelter sources that attract pets. Keep lids closed on outdoor trash cans. And make sure to seal cracks and crevices around your home. If you do spot a possible infestation, call the stormwater utility for storm drains, pest control for your property, and sack sewer for sewer manholes. Learn more at sacsewer.com. Oh my gosh. Uh <laughs> I feel like a deer in headlights. Um, <laughs> I, first off, I want to thank my media teacher, Mr. Clark. Um, I can't see him anywhere, but um, he was the one who encouraged me to enter this video to the SIVA. And I would like to thank my parents and my friends and everyone in the animation class who gave me so much love and support during the process of the video. And I'm about to go before I have a heart attack. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, Kyra, and great work, everyone. Congratulations to everyone who entered to the 2022 SIVAs. What an evening. As a reminder, defining 2021 honorees and teachers, please stop by the table in the back to pick up your items. Make sure to subscribe on YouTube channel, and most importantly, thank you for celebrating with us. It was an unforgettable evening. And one, one last thing, so uh, earlier in the program we mentioned that we had a surprise at the very end. Uh, so again, like I said, my name's uh, Kevin from Sacramento Republic FC. Um, 
this is like my Oprah moment, under everyone's chairs, taped underneath everyone's chairs, there are uh, two, everyone's going crazy, two free tickets to come to a game this season. Uh, so this is a little awkward for the people who are already, have already left. Um, but there are two free tickets on there. You just scan it. You'll see our schedule. So we'd love to have you guys out and have a great night. Thank you. <laughs> Oh man, it's crazy. Nice job. You too. Okay.